Today in our 2009 Ford Escape, we're going to be test fitting the RhinoRack roof rack system. This is going to be consisting of part numbers RRVA126B-2. These are the RhinoRack Vortex Aero crossbars in black, 49 inches long. These also come in silvers, part number RRVA126S-2. We'll also be using part number RRRLKVA. These are the 2500 series legs for the Vortex Aero crossbars. And then part number DK099, and this is the custom fit kit for this particular vehicle. And this is what's going to be clamping it onto your vehicle. We have our front one already installed. You can see the bar has a nice aerodynamic shape to it, and that's going to cut down wind noise and drag while you're driving. The end caps themselves are locked into place with a given tool. Also, your legs are locked into place with this cover here, and this is going to keep it secure to your roof once you have it installed. Combined with the rear crossbar, this has a carrying capacity of 165 pounds, although you want to double check with your vehicle's manual to make sure your roof, your roof excuse me, can withstand that kind of weight. Let's go ahead and show you how the rear one installs. We already have it partially assembled on our table here. So what we'll do first is we'll actually take the bar, kind of flip it upside down, and then we'll take our leg, which as you can see here has this metal piece at the top, this bracket. This actually slides into the T-slot in our crossbar. So we'll just line it up the right way. and slide it on. Now to keep it in place, we'll go ahead and reinstall our end cap. And that piece that I spoke about earlier is this, and that'll just lock it into place so it can't be removed. Next we'll take a rubber pad for a foot, and you want to make sure, and line it up with the other one, that the arrow on this pad is facing forward. Pop that in. All right. Next, we'll actually measure for our space in our bar from this point to our leg. And you're going to find these measurements in the instructions. Now, normally you would have like a strip that you would place in here cut to length so you don't have to worry about measuring it. However, for demonstration purposes, we'll go ahead and just measure it out. Again, you'll find this measurement in your instructions. Always double check there before you finally tighten everything down. Then we'll take our included tightening tool and tighten on the bolt on the bottom of our leg. Right there. Double check that measurement, make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. And it's looking good. Finally, We'll install our clamp. We'll just go ahead and take out this screw here. Line up our holes. And reinstall. All right, with that done, we can actually set this on our roof. We'll first open up our rear doors. We'll set it in place, and then we'll get our measurement for our crossbar spread. And that's going to be from center of the bar to center of the bar. You'll find this measurement as well in your instructions. Next, we'll make sure they're kind of sitting on the roof even here. 
So push that little over that way. That's good. Now we can start tightening things down. Now how we tighten these down is a little different. For example, most vehicles will just have this bare portion here that this will clamp down to, but here you can see we have this rubber strip. So you just pull that down just a little bit and kind of push our clamp in between that and the strip. Let's get it loosely tightened for now. And we'll repeat this on the other side too. And once we get these loosely tightened, we'll go ahead and go back and forth and tighten these down evenly, about five or six turns each until it's completely tightened down. All right. Now some things you can actually put on this roof rack, quite a few, there's bike racks, ski carriers, snowboard carriers, roof baskets, enclosed cargo boxes, and even water sport carriers such as kayaks and canoes, although you always wanna double check your weight to make sure you're not overdoing it for your bars or your roof. And one thing I'd like to point out while I'm tightening this down, you'll see that this tool here has this curve on the end of it. Once this is actually fully tightened down, this will straighten out as you're tightening it to let you know that you have reached its torque setting. Like you see right there. All right. Our final step is to put our covers on and then we'll be ready to hit the road. And there you have it for the Rhino Rack roof rack system on our 2009 Ford Escape. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.